Our students and researchers are launching drones off the Southern California coast to track sharks and their interactions with swimmers and surfers. NBC4's Vicki Vargas live for us at Sunset Beach in Huntington Beach with those details. Hey, Vicki. Hey there, Michael. It really is a first. It's a collaboration between the Shark Lab at Cal State Long Beach and the Drone Lab at Fullerton College. So these are biologists and drone experts who are coming together to try to understand how many people might be in these waters when they believe sharks might be there as well. And if they are successful, they might be able to issue some specific warnings. Experts say there are two ways of looking at the Pacific from land and from 200 feet above it. This same aerial view will be recorded along the coast from San Diego to Santa Barbara over the next two years. Drones will be used to map the coastline, crossing back and forth end to end, just like mowing a lawn. Experts say they know sharks use the Southern California coast as a nursery for their young, but swimmers and surfers are an unknown quantity. We have actually been tracking juvenile white sharks for the past 20 years, so we generally know where their movements are. Um, but this is the first study that is actually meshing the two parts of the equation together, the sharks and the people. For example, when the surf is up, surfers are more likely to paddle out. However, experts say when the swells are down, sharks tend to hover closer to the coast. This is video taken near Belmont Shore back in March. Each encounter is measured and timed. These sharks will be at a beach for a month in and amongst people, and they don't seem to be bothering anybody. So again, the more we can provide the public with good data, the less fear they may have when these sharks are sighted along a beach. For these college students, it's a chance to share their aerial passion and expertise. You know, all people want to go up in a balloon and stuff and fly in an airplane. We're always looking out of the windows. So this is a total different point of view. Now, with the ability to fly higher than a seagull, they can truly get a bird's eye view of what's swimming beneath the surface. A very different view from what a surfer sees. This program part of a state grant, but they're also logging and making note of marine sea life from sea lions to stingrays. Stingrays, by the way, a food source for sharks. Live in Sunset Beach, I'm Vicki Vargas, NBC4 News.